Great day everyone! Welcome back to our science class. My name is Ma'am Hannah and today is a great day to learn something new. In previous episodes, you learned about structure and the processes that govern the formation and behavior of our planet, Earth. This provides you a better understanding of the Earth's changing environment as well as methods for predicting and mitigating the effects of natural disasters such as earthquakes and typhoons. For our last episode in quarter 2, we will also discuss about objects in the universe beyond Earth's atmosphere. By studying the other members of the solar system, we can learn more about the origins of our planet. So are you ready to explore the other members of the solar system along with Earth? Let's go! Have you ever looked up at the night sky on a cloudless night? Did you notice the light streaks across the night sky? What do you call those streaks of light? It was commonly referred to as shooting stars or falling stars. Some of us believe that if we see a shooting star, we can make a wish and it will surely come true. It is also said to have a bit of magic which means good vibes and luck for anyone who happens to look at it. So these are some of the superstition beliefs that most of us have when celestial bodies pass by and interact with our planet. So in this video, we will describe and explain the celestial bodies that frequently interact with Earth and can be seen in our night sky. Do you know what a shooting star is? Is it a comet? An asteroid? Or maybe a meteor? Our lesson is about comets, meteoroids, and asteroids. So before we proceed to our discussion, let's check your prior knowledge to our lesson for the day by answering these five items true or false please. Let's get started! Choose fact if the statement is true and bluff if it is false. Number one. A comet is a ball of mostly ice that moves around in the outer space. Fact or bluff? Excellent! The answer is fact. The statement is true. Number two. Comets are believed to be in long elliptical orbits. Fact or bluff? Very good! The answer is fact. The statement is true. Number 3. Comets can come back into view from time to time. Fact or bluff? Excellent! The answer is love. The statement is false. Number 4. Comets are same with meteors. Fact or bluff? Correct. The answer is love. The statement is false. And number 5. Asteroids orbit around the sun. Fact or bluff? Excellent! The answer is fact. The statement is true. Did you get all the right answers? If so, everyone did a great job. So for this lesson, our most essential learning competency is compare and contrast comets, meteors, and asteroids. Some of them are the subjects of science fiction films such as Greenland, a big budget 2020 film about a comet impact, and Don't Look Up, a Netflix 2021 film about an asteroid. We also hear news about an upcoming meteor shower and wait for this spectacular phenomenon in our backyard. But what is the difference between comets, meteoroids, and asteroids? Comets are also referred to as dirty snowballs. They are made of dust, rock, and metal. 
and are surrounded by an icy shell that is consist of both water and frozen gases as they orbit the sun. This mainly solid body of the comet is called as nucleus. When a comet approaches the sun, its icy shell sublimates, converting from solid to gaseous state, forming a large halo of gas and dust around the nucleus known as the coma. When solar radiation and wind push the coma back as it travels through space, it creates a tail. Comets are also classified based on how long their orbits around the sun last. They are classified into two categories, short period comets and long period comets. Short period comets are comets that orbit the sun in less than 200 years. Short period comets are believed to originate from a region in the solar system known as the Kuiper Belt. While long period comets are comets that orbit the sun in more than 200 years and it is believed that these comets come from a region in the solar system known as the Oort Cloud. Comets have highly elliptical orbits, which means they prefer a long circle that some of them can take out of the solar system before returning. The Halley's Comet, first observed by Edmond Halley in 1910 and again in 1986, is one of the most well-known comets. It was observed in detail by spacecraft when it appeared in 1986 due to its solid nucleus and large tail. It is the only short-period comet visible from the Earth with the naked eye. Halley's Comet completes its orbit every 76 to 79 years and its next appearance is expected in 2061 to 2062. Now, let's move on to asteroids. Asteroids are also known as minor planets or planetoids. Basically, they are just like comets without the eyes. They are made of dust, rock, and metal. These varying sizes of rocky or metallic materials are traveling together in the so-called asteroid belt, a region which lies between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Scientists believe that the dinosaurs went extinct due to an asteroid impact on Earth. Chicxulub Crater, a large crater in Mexico, is thought to have been caused by an asteroid colliding with the Earth's surface about 66 million years ago. The impact is thought to have caused extreme changes in the Earth's atmosphere and climate, eventually eliminating dinosaurs. Lastly, let's discuss meteoroids. But what is the difference between meteoroids, meteors, and meteorites? So meteoroids are rocks or particle debris in the solar system that range in size from dust to boulders. Most meteoroids are about the size of a pebble. And it is believed that some meteoroids result from the breakup of comets as they come close to the sun, while others are thought to be the result of a collision between two asteroids. But what about meteors? So when we say meteors, they are just simply meteoroids that enter the Earth's atmosphere. As it passes through the atmosphere, the friction between the meteoroid and the Earth's atmospheric gases burns it to the point where it glows and becomes visible to our eyes, which we know better as shooting stars. Most meteors glow for only a few seconds before burning up and colliding with the Earth's surface. Now, are you familiar with meteor showers? So meteoroids may remain in their own orbit until they happen to intersect Earth's orbit. When this occurs, we are treated to spectacular phenomena in the night sky known as meteor shower. And finally, if the meteor does not completely burn up, the remaining portion of it heats the Earth and is referred to now as a meteorite. Every year, over 100 meteorites strike the Earth. But fortunately, most of them are quite small. So do you now understand the distinctions between comets, asteroids, 
and meteoroids, as well as meteors and meteorites. So before we wrap up this lesson, let's check your overall understanding by completing this activity. Place a check mark to indicate characteristics of comet, asteroid, and meteor. Number 1 appears as a streak of light. Very good! That is a meteor. Number 2 Frozen ball of dust. Excellent! That is a comet. Number 3. Visible in our sky. Correct! That is a meteor. Number 4. Orbits between Jupiter and Mars. Correct! That is an asteroid. Number 5. Often called as a shooting star. is a meteor. So that concludes this episode. See you in the next episode. Stay safe and I hope you've learned something new. Bye!